Hey guys, what's up? This is Lloyd Paul Sr. Just coming back with a late night, late night video to say uh, thanks to a few folks that helped me out today with drives in the minus 25 degrees, really cold wind. Thank you guys for giving me rides. Like, uh, I can say, uh, this was yesterday actually, and I'm just bringing it up today. Tammy Dawson. Thank you, Tammy. Oh man, that, when you pulled up in that little red car, I was gonna start singing. Little red Corvette. Woo hoo hoo. Remember that song? The Prince. All right. Then I got picked up by my buddy at Keith Gaspar and drove me back. Well, he drove me to the butt store and then home. What a good guy to do that because he knew how cold it was. Me and my daughter were walking in the cold weather. Eric Marn, thank you, Eric. Big time thank you for that. And first and foremost, to get us out of the house, we were just walking down and the man was cleaning up our... Our driveway putting salt and stuff for my gajoo and doing all that and my mom I mean uh, same meaning gajoo mom in McMac it was Philip Martin he was going I'm going that way if you guys can squeeze in here for just a minute can't drive anywhere else though so we got in there and it was perfect room we got in thanks Philip awesome your son's a deadly hockey player Little Hunter Martin, big shout out, man. Big fan of Hunter and G. Blackmore for bringing up hockey big time in Millbrook, Nova Scotia. Yes. Now I got to put my shades on just for a minute because I'm deadly. <laughs> I'm just playing. Oh, I can't forget Lloyd Johnson. He drove me from... Uh, Steve Marshall's store, Steve Marshall Jr.'s trading post up to the butt store and back in the freezing cold. Thanks, Lloyd. Like, man, I ain't gonna forget none of you guys for all this stuff, man. Woo! -hoo! And there's two strangers I really don't know their names. Like, cause Sherry went home and I had to go down towards, like, Lawton's areas. You know, lines. it's like Turo folks know where that is. Anyway, sorry for people who don't know. But this stranger, he said his name was Steve. He must have been 66 and a half. And he said, hey, bro, it's too cold to be walking. He got me there, no sweat. I said, right on, bro. Thank you, man. When I was getting off the car and he could see my hair blowing in the wind, my hat flew off and everything like this. My hair was doing this. I was like, holy man, he must have seen how deadly that wind was. Lloyd, Lloyd, come back, come back. Throws me a $10 bill to get a taxi home. I said, yo, man, thanks. Oh, my God. I said, no, that's, that's okay. Uh, I... I see somebody that can probably bum a drive. I can, I'll find a way. Take it, take it. Jumping Jamolians. And they gave me the $10. I was very grateful for this guy. His name was Steve. Give me 10 bucks even to get back home. Now man, I don't know the stars and the moons and the earth and the mountains and the sun and Jupiter and everything all lined up perfectly for me that day. <laughs> it was really, really cool day because the drives were right on top of me, helped me out no sweat. And every other time, I used to hitchhike, I used to hitchhike all over the province into New Brunswick, into, I hitchhiked from Turo to Toronto once, and I, I locked out, that was a pretty quick drive. But still, this was a really cool day because all the moons and everything lined up. All the stars lined up for me perfectly. I want to do a shout out for a lot of good friends of mine. Robert, Robert, I met you at uh, the Superstore today. How you doing, Rob? Uh, also, thanks for <laughs> sharing me a taxi from the Superstore. And also, I wanted to say hi 
to my friend Ronnie up in Kingston, Ontario, and his family, Kelly, Connor, little Justin, and all of the family. Like I, I guess I can name off the animals and everything. Oh man, the whole crew. And uh, Matt, Matt, I can't know. See, I would have felt bad if I would left one name out. That's terrible. And anyways, guys, thanks you guys up in Kingston. Always treat me proper when I came up and visit. Much love, guys. Anyways, guys, I think I'm pretty well signed up for now. I want to say one quick shout out to Wampole Island. Everybody up in uh, Ontario, I don't know if it's northern or southern. I think they're near Detroit somewhere. Wampole Island Reservation. You guys got my shout out, guaranteed. Uh, Brandon Altman. Good man. I got some pictures of him and Philip Martin when they were hockey players. Well, they're still hockey players, but I mean, when they were just lads, like, I mean, young guys, I mean, just a couple years ago, when they were like 20, and they were like kicking ass, like, scores, scores. The red light was doing this every time that Brennan and Philip were on the ice. Light was on every time, because I know my hockey, left wing, center, everything. I know all about it. Ask me a question about hockey. I got it. SOG, you know that. Shots on goal. Yes. Anything. Anyways, guys, have a good day. I'm Lloyd Paul Sr. Rambling on. I'm tired. It's been a long day all over the friggin' town. Let's <sighs> have a good day. It's Lloyd Paul Sr. Yes. Oh, Heather. Hey, take care up in, uh, where are you visiting? Give me one of those little spoons. That's all. I like, and I have an ugly t-shirt on. Much love. Have a good vacation. Peace out, guys. Love you all. Yes.